All right, everyone, welcome back in to some more Forza Horizon 5 for the Series X Part 3. Thanks to everybody who's been checking out the uh, series so far. Hope you're enjoying it. Um, yeah, really, really beautiful looking game. Like I said, it's definitely the best looking game I've ever seen, but it's also incredibly fun. Um, so we're going to do more Horizon Adventure here. Our next one, I think, is the... I have it set up here, I think. Is the Goliath. That's where we're going on to next. So let me just set up a uh, chat and everything. And we'll be on our way. We'll hit the road. It's really good stuff. Probably switch games at some point. Uh, today? Tonight? So I'm starting the recordings in the stream early today. And another earlier one. Because uh, i got to get up early tomorrow for work. Real early. So I don't think I'll be streaming till like one o'clock in the morning. There we go. It really seems like you guys are enjoying uh, this game so far too. So yeah, a long trip to get to this next mission. This is the last mission in the first, uh, well, main ticket, if you will. You know, there's like five or six. What are those tickets? Uh, let me show you guys uh, Like this, yeah, see The Mexico main stage It's the last one that we need to do the Apex, I think we still need to finish the second one Then we have the Colossus And then We need to get started on the Wilds too So hopefully we'll knock off a few missions today I still wish you could filter the... I, guess I couldn't figure it out on the map how to filter just like the main mission so you know which ones to go to and how to know if they were already completed or not. There's no marker. It's kind of like, uh, it's kind of weird. Um, hey Jack, how you doing man? Welcome in to your evening, late evening for you. It's almost midnight where you are. Cruising around again, trying to get some more campaign missions done. <laughs> Surprisingly haven't crashed into anything yet. Really, but any of these cars, anyways. Just the visuals. Just every, I mean, you can't help but marvel at them every time. Oh, there we go. I lost control. <laughs> oh, sorry, sir. You're not going where you're going today. Hey, what's up, Casico, man? How you doing? Nice to see you again after just watching you play some old school Zelda last night. It was fun times. Now let's just go this way, I guess. We'll go. Yeah, this is uh, this is the best looking game I've ever seen in my life. I'm not even. I, I, there's no sugarcoating that. Like I. I try to think, like, what have I seen that looks more detailed and realistic than this? There, there hasn't been. At least with this graphic style, easily the best looking game. Might go back to Scarlet Nexus later. Yeah, it's, uh, like I said, if you have Secret of Mana, you should... 
try playing that sometime. I think you'll dig it if you like the, uh, the Zelda games, because it's, you know, it's an RPG, too. And it has, like, a top-down view. That's an expensive game to get, too, now. Secret of Manning, my goodness. Really, it's pretty pricey to get. But my brother used to play it all the time. Right, whoa! Wait, oh no, this is where we want to go. Alright, so here's the Goliath. Let's see what this is going to be all about. You guys. You gonna, oh, it's your first time playing through the game. Oh, that's cool. That's cool. Yeah, that was... um. Um, the only Zelda games I've played through are Ocarina of Time, which was very recently. Like, literally just beat that, like, two weeks ago, or, or so. And then, I played Breath of the Wild. I played, I have Link's Awakening on my Game Boy, so I played a lot of that game on my original Game Boy when it came, not when it came out, but, like, I have it on my Game Boy. And then I played a little bit of the original Zelda on NES, and some Wind Waker as well. That's about it. You've played it multiple times, but never got far enough to beat it. Yeah, but that's cool. You know, you can always say you go back to those games and you beat them. See, I've done the same thing with my streaming. Like, I've gone to some games I had never beaten before, and I've beaten them on stream. And I'm like, wow, my first time beating the game. This is great. Uh, I'm trying to think of a game that I that I did that with. Where I was like, I never beat it, but I played it. Um, like Super Mario Sunshine, for instance. I played... A lot of that back in the day when I used to have it, and now I, I beat it on stream this past year. Um, you know, that's just one example of probably several at least. Um, let's do the Goliath. I'm not sure what this is going to be. It's recommending me this car, the Lamborghini. You beat the uh, recoded one already, huh? How long did that take you, Jack? Yeah, it's good. Everybody's finishing some of the games that they're working on. That's what I'm trying to do. I'm looking to finish it. Uh, I think Halo Infinite is probably going to be the first Series X game I complete. Because um, we're pretty far in that campaign, I'm pretty sure. sure and with Dying Light 2 coming right out, now, that's going to be perfect timing. The and then we're close to beating God of War, I think. And we're also playing through Banjo Kazooie as well. Still got to go back to that. Took you two weeks. It's not as long as you're expecting. Oh, okay. But yeah, if it's not one of like the main games, it probably doesn't have as quite the length on it. Kingdom Hearts three took me a long time to beat, so I assume the other ones, main ones, are gonna be the same thing. That Scarlet Nexus game I started last night. I absolutely love it. Like I am. I, I think I've fallen in love with that game. <laughs> Honestly, like, it's really good, and I think that game's gonna take me a solid, like, 30 to 40 hours to beat, in the looks of it, which I'm okay with. Oh, shoot. So, oh, there's no way I'm gonna win now. I'm in 11th already? is one way to drive. Yeah, let's restart that. <laughs> that was bad. Once I lose control, I can't gain it. The next game will be M. Another game will probably be Mario and Luigi Superstar Saga. Oh, cool. So you're going right through the alphabet. So you got Legend of Zelda LM. What about N? Hmm. You can do your GBA. I was gonna say you have to have that, right? The GBA player. And hey, Vaughn. Nice to see you, Vaughn. Welcome in this afternoon. If only I had a car that looked this nice, right? If only any of us had cars that. Like, look. And look how fast these things are going. I can't keep up with them. Let 
These events are hard. Oh, here we go. This is where I lost control before. Dang. Good stuff, right? I don't even think I can catch up to them. I couldn't even keep up with them when I was racing good. Well, now we're going off road. That's just great. Well, at least we can enjoy the views. I forgot you could rewind. Never happened. You love racing games? Yeah, racing games are great. So I don't play enough of them, but clearly. And uh, this one's amazing. It's like, it's so realistic looking, guys. Sometimes the fastest cars aren't the best cars to choose. I think I, I think you're right, guys. <laughs> it's recommending me this car, but for some reason, I'm doing, bad. I'm doing terrible here. Running over hookers in GTA. Well, that's... Isn't that what everybody does in GTA? Hello, uh, Kenneth? Right, that's... Yeah, that's you. Okay, I was like... I had to look at the name twice. I was like, that's... That's... That's correct. Right? Yeah, I just run over everything in this game, because I can't stay on the damn road. I might have to choose another car, but... The thing is, I might get left in the dust. That turn every time. Every time that turn. Alright, let's, let's take it from here. Thing is, this thing's like so bad at um, taking turns. Like it just skids out, and they're like taking the turns like full speed. I don't know how they're doing it. it just makes me realize how bad I am at this freaking game. Oh, we're crying out loud. Running over workers or hookers? <laughs> what else we got? So many sports games, but I think I might do a split stream. NHL game, and then Newtopia on the Turbo Graphics. Turbo Graphics, dude, you got one of those? Uh, that's a system I really wish I had been able to try. Uh, yeah, NHL old NHL games are great. Uh, NHL '98 is probably my favorite, but uh, there's a lot of good old. I have NHL '96 on Sega Genesis. I think it's '96. Yeah, NHL 98 and 99 on PlayStation 1, and then I have NHL 18 on Xbox One, NHL 13 on 360. NHL 13 is a good one, but NHL 98 is where it's at, if you ask me. Oh my gosh, I'm doing so bad. Am I even ahead of anybody? Now let me say the wrong name. <laughs> I had to double look at who was talking to me there. Sometimes I do get names mixed up on here. <laughs> there's a lot of screen names that come in here too and I'm like, sometimes I don't remember everybody. Like for instance, Justin. I don't even know who Justin was for so long. Like, I, I, obviously I know Justin, but like, he came in once with his screen name and he told me who he was and he didn't come back for a while and he kept coming then he started coming in again and I completely forgot who it was and he would just keep coming in and I thought he was just some guy that didn't know me that we were just you know talking having a good time then he reminded me once he's like you know you know me right I'm like who are you and he's like it's Justin and I was like oh my gosh this whole time you know it was Justin because he had to remind me of his screen name. 
I felt so bad. I was like, oh my gosh. I know you told me that was your name before. You know what? I'm just going to finish this event in last place. Actually, I'm not in last. I'm in 11th. See, I'm pretty good. I'm not the worst. I don't know how I'm not in last place, but... I don't have the drifting down in this game at all. Not with this car, anyways. I think I gotta take my finger off the trigger a bit. I'm a little too trigger happy here. Oh, he's gaining on me now. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa. Okay, I don't see yeah, I see we're not gonna we're not gonna pass anybody. Hey, that was a pretty good turn. And then I followed up with a horrible turn. Gosh damn. Yeah, 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 Justin from, from work, yeah. Said so I, I talked to him, I mean, he, he's my friend, and we talked to him all the time at work. He came in a stream once, told me his name, the screen name, and I was like, oh, that's cool. And then I didn't see him for a while on here. When we started coming back, I didn't remember it was him. And we would just have these conversations on stream, and he would know all this stuff about games. And then eventually we like had to remind me, he's like, oh, you know who I am? <laughs> I was like, I don't know. <laughs> we had like a nickname for him and everything, and I was like, oh gosh. And now I'm in last. Well, that's good. But again, I don't think I even have to finish high to even continue these. I just want to finish this race. Even if I end up in last place, whatever. There we go, that's the checkpoint. <laughs> Just wanted to make sure I got that. Dude, look at this area, this is nice. Looks like we're in like Canada or something. How long is this race? How long is it? Is it like tell me how long this is? Hang on. And Luis is here. See, I'm remembering, I'm remembering some names. Hang on. Let me just text my girl real quick. That bastard that passed me. I know, Casico. How dare he? How much do we have left of this race? Look, this is a... Oh my... <laughs> this race could take an hour. Wait a minute. So if we started, I think we started like right here. Yeah, so we have to go. I wonder why it's called the Goliath. This goes around the entire map. So we have plenty of time to gain on these guys. They actually aren't super far ahead of us. We actually have time to catch up. Christina, of course I remember Christina. Yeah, Christina and I have, have stayed in contact too. Christina's great. Yeah, I can't wait for her to come back there. She's the one that did my zero photo shoot like two years ago, guys. She's gonna come back to work. I'm not even halfway through this, I don't think Casica like quarter of the way, I know. I'm like, wait a minute, what? So I'm not gonna start this over, I'm just gonna finish it, whatever. And see if we can gain some ground here. It's like a NASCAR race. And we stretched all to one lap. There's a good chance to practice to get like better at like some of these turns. I think I'm just a little bit too acceleration excited. Just because I have a car that goes 200 miles per hour doesn't mean I have to go 200 around every corner. Thing is, they're taking the turns so well. 
struggling. And one thing I could do, well actually I can't take shortcuts because there's checkpoints, that's right. I'm like, I could just go off road and cut across, but <laughs> no, you gotta get the checkpoints. There we go. All right. We get a nice look at the uh, landscape of the map, at least. When someone in that pack like has to crash or something. They're definitely doing better now. Problem is we're so far behind it's gonna be I don't even know if we can pass anybody at this point. Or at least we can race better, get some experience. Hey look, we got a Captain America shield. That's good. I'm doing much better now. I don't know what's going on, but I'm like actually staying on the road. You'd think somebody else is, is driving. Oh yeah, she's an amazing uh, photographer. You see, she's really good. She's got a good eye for that thing. If, if anybody can make me look good in pictures, then you know that they're, they're good. Yeah, it'll be fun to have her back. It's nice because there's like so many new people and you just, you don't know like anybody there anymore. It's not a lot of OGs left. She was an OG and nice to see her in there again. Party time. Back at work. jungle Oh, that was a clean drift. How did I do that? I don't even know how I did that. Man, where was this in the beginning of the race? I would probably would have been at least contending with them and uh, there's a crash. That's more like it. Damn. This is super long. This is probably the only mission in this branch, too, because this is a super long race. Hope I don't have to win this. To, but with these missions, I just want to attempt them. And whatever we finish, we finish. As long as we get experience and can unlock more missions, that's all I'm caring about. So we can get through, experience them all for the playthrough. We're probably not even halfway done. Oof, almost missed that. Wait. Yeah, no guardrails here. Another car in sight. Uh, no, I gotta rewind that. Oh, your phone's dying and you're waiting for the bus right now. What a way to, to spend your time here. Gosh. It's like as soon as this car hits dirt or anything, 
what? Like you, uh, you go flying, losing control. Cannot handle off road at all. It is a Lamborghini, though, so. To keep looking at the mini map because it also really helps to see what's coming up, and I kind of know now when to slow down a little bit rather than just relying on the arrows that are in front of me. I can judge whether I want to. I know that these are unrivaled skills no one else could possibly do as, as uh, horrible as I am. I'm really trying to, that's the sad part. So I'm like actually trying to race well here. They're just leaving me all the way in the dust. It's that AI that doesn't mess up, you know? It's like AI doesn't mess up like that. Uh, yeah, I do work tomorrow. Um, I work uh, in the morning. Freddy, one B, DJ, DJ. <laughs> Thank you for the follow here. I appreciate that here on Twitch. Thank you, my friend. Hello to you if you're watching, Freddy. Uh, hey, what's up, Stevie? How you doing, man? Yeah, I work. I work early in the morning tomorrow. Which is strange because I've been doing more later shifts. I think I'm doing working with Denise or something. I don't know, who knows how much we have left of this freaking race too. It'd be nice if I could pass one person and not finish last, but I'm gonna rewind that. See if I can get past this without hitting that tree. Let's save ourselves some time. You're tired? Maybe it's time for that for those patented naps. Gosh damn it. There we go. I almost have to come to a complete stop there. Oh, really? <sighs> right, we're on the coast, so we're getting there. We know that's near the end. Should be anyways. Cause we started on the coast and we're gonna finish on the coast. <laughs> the cold makes you tired. Usually the um, the heat usually makes me more tired. Oh yeah, look at that grand finish there. Nailed it. Well, that was terrible. But we still get the accolades for finishing. <laughs> Alright, so... <laughs> I'll let Sean Turk won, alright. Cost of fixing the car, you need to be a billionaire. Oh yeah, imagine. 
like all like the scuff marks and everything probably cost more than like the money I've made in my entire life just to fix it there we go we leveled up we did what we really wanted to do it was just experience spin the wheel what do we get an emote great something I don't care about Look how young they are in the game. Kind of get some of daddy's money too. <laughs> I know, they're like hedge fund people, you know? Like, they just get like a bunch of money. Must be nice though, actually. Hey, We're ready to expand. hey Haley. Alright, so we're gonna... Let's unlock the Horizon Wilds one. No, we're not ready with, for that yet, Haley. Hang on. Just unlocking it. So we still have the Apex one to finish. We still have the Colossus to do. The Epitome of Road Racing. Oh gosh, is this going to be another? Alright, so this one is the only other one we haven't done there. So this is Colossus. This is probably another super long race, huh? Let's get going to that. Yeah, they they look young, everybody. Like I, I wish you could like show. Um, hang on. I wish it would show you like. Like I said, all the missions that you've actually completed or something, or at least the ones that you are just the main ones, like it's kind of always tough to see, but now, because there's so many things on the map. But yeah, with like the people, I wish you could make them look like older, you know, a little more seasoned. Like me. Older. <laughs> Old. Put a bunch of wrinkles on there. Um, all right. I guess that's what we'll do. Yeah, we'll try and finish up the Apex one, then we'll get started on the Wilds, because we still have four tickets left after these two. So this will only be the completion. They said, we're just looking to experience these, uh... So they have a short drive over to this mission. And you get a look at this, um... Get a look at this nice map. But yeah, no problem, Casca. Hey, thanks for coming in, man. Always nice to chat with you. I appreciate that. Uh, stay safe, man. Take care of yourself. Enjoy the rest of your uh, weekend here. Thanks, man. Thanks. It's time to do better here. If this is a race, I kind of want to redeem myself here. Horizon Apex. 34 miles? Oh man, we're getting like these... These are all recommended. This one's got speed in hand. I think I might take the Supra. Mercedes Benz. I don't know. Maybe this monster one. It's got better off road. This one looks like it's gonna be more for tight turning, huh? Handling, maybe. I don't, I'm feeling this one. He's working on a video. Very cool. Cool. All right, here we go. We'll try this. This is gonna be another race. Problem is, when I pick a class, like all the other cars are in the same class. You have lost several races in a row. Would you like to lower your difficulty, in novice? Uh, I mean, probably, but no, I won't do it. It's like the game's letting me know I suck. It's like, hey, uh, you, you suck. Uh, why don't we just like, you know, let you win some races? 
I love that. No. Don't tell me what to do, game. I know I suck. But at least I take it in stride. A chance to do better but you know these long races I always feel like it's worse because I have more of a chance to screw up <laughs> the short race maybe I can get through it without screwing up as much out of the way oh dude they're banging into me look at this I could bump off the wall. I'd rather do that than go off road and peel out. Today we're in fifth. I will take that right now. Seven percent progress, that's at eight percent progress. Should I be careful not to go off the road here? Picking up speed. This person in front of me is just like breaking right in my face here. There we go, use them as a bumper. And push ahead of them. We're in fourth, let's go. <laughs> I told you I wanted to redeem myself after that last race. I will take top 10 here. I'm not expecting to finish 4th or 5th. There we go. Yeah, the front 3 are getting out. I think top 3 is going to be out of the question. <laughs> They're getting far ahead there. The separation. The rest of the pack is right behind me. One screw up and I'll be in last place. test well, look at that maneuver to get around all right there's the top three I'm coming for you it's gotta work our way up there. Level 28, that's great. Oh, we're in third. It's only 25% through the race. Oh gosh, damn it. 
I was like, oh, maybe we'll be like 50% through or something. There's no way I can hold this position for this long. Something's going to go wrong at some point. <sighs> wow. I get a little separation from the bottom group, and maybe at least we could have a chance of finishing top five. Don't peel out here. Take it easy. Now look at the whole pack's right behind me. So, so they're just waiting for me to crash into something take my position can't believe I'm in first <laughs> how bad I've been racing in this game up to this point straight away. It's going to have a curve coming up though. Around the farmland. It's a grueling length there. I have to like stay focused to this whole freaking thing. I should even look at the percentage. I should just keep looking at the, uh, the turns and the map. There we go. That wasn't the best, but we didn't really crash or anything, so that was a tough turn. It's pressure's on because they do not they do not screw up. They just freaking glide the whole race, so you have to Especially since I'm not playing on the novice difficulty. Well we should be. That's a tough turn there. I feel like more like I'm doing a dirt rally. With all these freaking turns. I was gonna lose control there. Oh no, I didn't take that turn early enough, but still okay. Say so one peel out. Although if I do peel out, I'm totally rewinding, obviously, because I'm trying to race well enough in this, at least to get a good position. It'd be harsh if one crash sets me back to like last place. and they don't expect you to crash and go off road oh this guy's trying to pass me now he's gonna go inside outside he's trying to go outside oh no oh he did it shoot Crap, now another person's gonna pass me probably too. We held first for a while. Don't let them get too far ahead, I guess. Dude, dude. 
come on. I'm gonna pick the right car though for this. Oh no! That slam of the wall cost me another position. <sighs> They're probably not gonna let me pass them now again. Still a long way to go. Just over halfway. All right, we're back in the second. Oh, look at this, we're cruising through here. <laughs> yes. Oh, damn it, he bumped me. I'm totally into this race. I'm like, <laughs> I want to win. I want to win this damn race. After what I did last race. Just that pack is right there too. It's like so tense because... One screw up gets that whole pack ahead of me. And I got him, I'm trying to stay with him. Oh, look at, he's getting distance now. He's trying to pass me on the outside. First place is cruising now, they're not They're not gonna lose now. I'll still take second place though, that's for sure. Miss that check checkpoint. Don't you dare. Don't you dare. Don't you dare. him racing as good as I've ever done in my life in a Forza game like I kid you not come on Okay. Easy here, easy. 
<laughs> ah, damn it. He took the turn better than me and cruises away. I still let them pass me. Yes. <laughs> As they pass me, yeah. They just any kind. Any time I take a turn not as sharp as possible, that's when they. That's when they pass me. Here we go again, dude. This is a battle. <sighs> My goodness, mate. Eighty percent through the race. Here we go. Here's a tough turn. There we go. There we go. Let's see if we can kind of cruise around here. There we go. Quick look behind to see. Ooh, I almost lost control there. I had to stop accelerating for a second. 82% in. We probably got the toughest stretch coming up, I bet, because it looks like it's going to be like off roading stuff, maybe. Stuff without walls. Easier to go off track here. I'm just trying to come up this way. Don't you dare. Got to keep an eye on my six too to see where they're going to try and pass me. I can try and negate it. No, 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 no. Oh, he's going to come on the inside. Oh my god. They're all right. They're all right there waiting. I've done this race though. Any rewinds or anything after the disaster that was the last race? Oh, nice turn. All right, another quick look. Eighty-nine percent. Bastards, stay behind me. Oh man, look at these turns now. No! Shit. Come on. Inside, inside, inside. There we go, and we got the checkpoint. Oh wow. <laughs> this is an insane race. Oh my goodness, this is the craziest race I've ever had in Forza in my life. We're almost there. 96%, come on! No more stupid turns to screw this up for me. 97%. 98. Come on, where's the finish? It's up there around the corner. Last turn. That was intense. I really wanted to win that race. Oh my gosh. And that's not me. Who was that person dancing around me? A 
I say, you better give me some good XP for that. Level up a few times. <laughs> there I am, in my hoodie. My tank. <laughs> Yvonne, <laughs> that race was ridiculous. It was back and forth for a while. Oh my gosh. Most intense thing we've done in this game by far. See, now I don't care if I lose every other race. I wanted to win one of those long ones there. By golly, we did. And we got more XP right near us. Take a little break from that and just cruise around and get some XP. Welcome back, Stevie. <sighs> but anything that made me better at turning in the game, too. Maybe it's just this freaking car. Where is that XP sign? Probably out in the hills here somewhere. Or maybe just off to the side. Oh, there it is. Alright, there's some more along this stretch here. Your phone made it home too, even on the 18%. Well, you're already you're already back, huh? Bus trip. I feel like when my phone gets low, like it dies so fast now. Like when it's up around 90, 80, 90%, it's okay, and then it just dips below 50. The thing just dies really quickly. So I don't have it plugged in. I'm gonna make sure I don't use it that much. Yeah, there we go. And then there's another one of these things right here. I'm going to start the next ticket mission too, just to get that one started at least today. And we're probably going to swap games at some point. Bottle of pop. Oh, is it one of those like... Was it a can or was it one of those um, like twisty bottle caps? You could see. Like the hard bottle caps. Those can really hurt if you don't... Here's a bottle opener. Sometimes I cut myself with a can when I'm opening. Move these pallets around for them. Um, I guess we can go back to... Well, wait, where's the next mission? Let me see. Um, so we unlocked... I know we unlocked another one, but where is it? Horizon Adventure. How many tickets do I have? don't have any. So we did Apex in Mexico, done. Although I don't think we technically finished this one. But maybe we did. I don't remember. So we have Wild. So Jungle Expedition. Is what we have next. That's what we gotta find. Oh, the bottle caps? Yeah, those can hurt like hell if you don't open them right. This is the jungle exhibition. What are we doing? Jeeps. We're gonna go back in the Jurassic Park Jeep, probably. So, yeah, we're not too far from there. Just gotta turn around. Turn around. Safe to do so? Or actually, no, keep going the way we're going. We'll start this mission. Rocket League? Yeah, I want to play Rocket League again. I don't have it loaded in right now, though. That's the problem. I gotta, uh, I gotta install it again on my Xbox One. You gotta do. I wanted to install that in Overwatch again. But yeah, I'll, I'm definitely gonna stream some stuff. There'll be a day where I get Rocket League back on there. A few people want me to play Rocket League again. I love that game. It's been a while, man. I haven't played that game in probably like four or five months. 
I used to play it a lot on my channel. Like, I used to have... I did like six seasons of Rocket League on my channel before. So I used to go pretty heavy on that game. Installing games takes forever on my on Xbox One. It's like so dumb. Oh, we got wheel spins. Let's do some of these. Good night, Sir Jack. Over there. In the UK, my friend. Nice to see you again. Take care of yourself, Jack. Alright, be safe, man. Enjoy your sleep. 12... 12.30 midnight for him. Alright, we got some... Let's gonna do... Man, I have so many spins on this thing right now. Probably buy a lot of stuff. I was getting these dumb emotes. Whoops. All right, let me uh, let me do something I haven't done a lot of lately, and that's car mastery. With this one. Use up some of those. These offer a limited number of uses to this car. What? We have a temporary perk, huh? We have wheel spins, um, car pack, uh, cars. These are our accolades. Yeah, see, there's like a lot of stuff here. I'm like, what? We got a car reward. We got a Nissan. Skyline Nissan. Oh, these are for the actual festivals. The festivals are the, technically the main mission. So this is like... Some of the stuff you can get. We almost got all of them in the Apex one. So we're going to start Horizon Wilds. We have 2,000 more accolade points. To unlock the next uh, main mission after this one. I'm honestly probably going to do more Scarlet Nexus next. Um, I mean, I got quite addicted to that game last night and my first time playing it. This game we're going to continue to keep working on until we uh, get through all these missions. This game's been quite a blast. That'll be the best Forza game I've ever I've ever played. But there's tons I haven't played, so I wouldn't know. But this one, quite good. I cut across here. All right, we have Jungle Expedition, Dirt Racing. Ooh. Kirby? I did a Kirby game in December. I did Kirby's Epic Yarn on the Wii. Should have seen that one. That was a, that's a good game. Uh, Mario? Yeah, I just beat Mario. Um, we beat Mario Odyssey, so... We'll do more Mario games, for sure. Uh, I'm waiting for the new Kirby game to come out, actually. There's a new one coming out. That looks so good. So I don't... It'll probably be out sometime this year. Definitely going to be streaming that one. Vamanos, let's go. Next, I 
turned off road and hit a danger sign on the way into Wolehe. Oh shoot, is this not what I'm supposed to be doing? Yes, I'm in the am I in the Jurassic Park Jeep? No, I'm in a different Jeep. The big cat. Ooh, we're trying to find a big cat. Going on the jungle expedition. The story. You did see the, uh, the Mario game? Yeah, I know you were in there for a lot of the Mario game. If I go back to that, it'll be um, <laughs> to grab more moon pieces and probably... I think there's like one more epic bonus state or something that's supposed to be really hard. Maybe I'll attempt that at some point. But we did beat like all the, the main stuff in there. Gotta find his notes. Jaguar. It's a barn find. Drop me off at my car once you found it. Discover the lost. Oh, this is another one of these like explore. Oh, these ones are great. You gotta find the items. I actually really like these ones. Aha, I see what we need there. So we gotta get up here. Yeah, these missions are so far probably my favorite. Alright, there's one right there. Oh, we found the notes. We ran them right over. Oh, that right there. Oh, how do we get up on that? Hmm. I might, you can't jump. Oh, wait a second, wait a second. I bet you that's how we have to do it, with more speed. I don't know if I, that's going to work, but we're going to try it. One again. I gotta hit this at the right angle. Not that angle. Hang on, Ramiro. Oh, then the propellers stop me. Ooh, maybe I can't get up that way. And then that stops me, yeah, so we definitely can't make that jump from there. Hmm. Hey, what's up, GDP? How you doing, man? How's the work going for you today? I assume you're at work right now, the overtime. We're doing good, we're doing good. Playing a little Forza. Probably going to go back to Scarlet Nexus. Um, next, we're showing me Afterburner last night, man. That game looks so good. I know I would enjoy that one, but unfortunately it's like $100 right now. Maybe I could just, if I get the cart alone, it's probably going to be like 50 but Maybe someday. 
Definitely looks good though. Strider was cool too. Splatterhouse too as well. I'm trying to figure out how to get this piece that I need. There's nothing else to jump off of though. Take a look here. I mean, maybe I can. It's not like I could jump off the wing and get to these, land on top of these crates here. Hmm. I don't think I can, anyways. You're on break. Dinner break there. Yeah, it's like the, it's not that it's gonna be the rafters that stop me. There's a way on the roof of this thing. Which I doubt it. I mean, I thought that we can already beat the mission, so it's like... going here then. Something else over here. That one's on top. That one's more definitely easier to get here. This one's got a ramp right up to it. Trying to get these collectibles. There's these collectibles on the map right here. That's part of this mission. And uh, you gotta figure out how to reach them with your car. So it's, it's pretty cool. There's these cases that we gotta get for this mission. Uh, they're optional. You don't have to get them, but I'm trying to get as many of them as I can. They're that other one I don't think I can get. This case is at the top here. Gotta get more speed. Oh, see. A little bit more and I can probably make that. come around from here. There we go. There we go. Alright. There's another one over this way. up here, huh? Whoops. Yeah, I can see where it is. Rewind that. Now, one in the other warehouse, I have no idea how to get that one. That's just going to be probably going to have to be left behind. Wow, that's actually going to be tough too, because this one, we're going to have to break as soon as we land on those crates, I think. If we can break before we fall. Oh, can't do it. Dang. PS5, oh, um, what do you got on the PS5, man? Do you have, um, do you have Returnal? Have you played that game at all? That one looked cool. Obviously, Ratchet and Clank looks awesome. Freaking, um, kind of looks really good. 
Destruction All Stars looks really fun. Just gonna try to do like more of a lighter. See if I don't do enough, then I just freaking fall down. So this is hmm. it's another tricky, tricky one. I need to hit this at just the sweet spot of speed here. Oh, that was close. That was close. That was very close. Oh, come on. <laughs> Aliens Elite Fire Team? How was that one? Yeah, Ghost of Tsushima, man. That would be cool, too, to see some more of that. I have seen some of that game, but not, like, all of it. Oh, we got it. We got it. There we go. Yeah, Ratchet and Clank looks... I mean, I love those 3D platformers, so I would... We can go crazy on that one. Much like the Mario Odyssey. Oh, the new Gran Turismo is coming out. That might be cool. I, I've never played one of those, but... I have the first one. It's a fun co-op game, but it fills it out after a week or so four player co-op yeah I'm sure it's one of those games that's fun with people but not fun by yourself one of those yeah it looked interesting and now we just have this one to try and get with no ramps to get us up there thing we have is this wing, but... There's no angle we can take that would get us here. I'm not seeing anywhere else to jump from either. The thing I could do is maybe... So I can't like move the plane at all, the wing. Yeah, I mean, if the the barricades on the ceiling of this building didn't stop me, I probably could make it because you get enough distance on like, something like this. Here we go up there. Oh wait a minute, I could tear that off. Hang on. I didn't know I could crash through there. Now we got it. I just gotta go up here. Nice and easy. Ooh, okay. We can we can do this. Not enough content, in aliens. Yeah, it's. Hopefully that wasn't like a sixty dollar game then. If it's like a forty dollar game and it's released, then that's a little more understandable. Some games are $70 now, like new. It's kind of crazy. Only certain games, though. Can't believe it's... Oh, wait a minute. Oh, <laughs> that thing kind of helped me land on there. So that's what we got to do. Probably bounce off that. to the side. Knock me down. There we go. And right, now I gotta make this jump right. That's gonna be an even harder jump because you can't get enough pace on it. Actually, let's land. Let's rewind it all the way back to...
when we were on here. There we go. How much room do I have here? Got it. Ooh, hoo, hoo. there we go. Burnout? Oh yeah, the Burnout games were so fun. Yeah, I remember playing... Uh, I think it was the first or second one a lot, my brother, and then like Burnout... Maybe Burnout Paradise we played too? Yeah, those games are sick. My brother Tim was really into those, so we would be playing them together. Drop Rami off the end of the runway. Well, where's that? Where does he want me to go? Over here? Yeah, man, thanks for stopping by on your break. I appreciate it, dude. You off Monday and Tuesday? Nice, nice. I think I'm working both of those days. I'm going to try and stream on at least one of them. I know, I know, I'm working tomorrow. I'm pretty sure I'm working Tuesday, too. Yeah, thanks. Thanks, man. I'll tell her you were, you were asking about her. Take care, man. Appreciate you. And anybody in here that's not following Game Dungeon Productions really question their lives <laughs> uh, make sure you check him out on twitch here he's a really really great guy good streamer does a lot of awesome there's a lot of cool stuff to show off i'll tell you a lot of badass stuff to show up doing some river doing a river dance here Yeah, we got some dirt roads. Dude, you trying to run me off the road? How do you like it? tree in the way, isn't there? Accolades. Maybe we have enough accolades to um, unlock another mission too. I don't
Howler monkeys? Out of my way. <laughs> oh, look at this sight. My, after all of my wins, I only have one win, Alejandro. We got this 1955 Chevy there. To a dirt race. I've started you off simple with a few events, and the drivers and fans have challenges to match. So, off you go and get dirty. Yeah, so I don't know which one he's talking about. Are these the races? Like, there's like 50 of them here. Hang on, I will choose one of those. Let me see. The Horizon Adventure Chapter. Hey Matt, time for an adventure. Where should we head next? Oh, here we go. We got... So we actually could unlock any of those. So we'll unlock El Camino. Of course, that's the next one. Yes, Carmen is waiting. Tell I want to go. Crash. I think we got to do one of I these don't... races, though, don't we? Let's try this one here. Turn around when it is safe to do so. I see once you open up the first mission on each ticket it, it kind of opens up all these like little side things like this. Now I'm, I'm kind of understanding how it's all set up. So this isn't technically a main mission but just a side thing. But I want to do some of these dirt races too in between other ones. I'll do at least this one today before we switch games. Accolade reward. Actually, tons of them. Oh, we got a nice jacket there. Yeah, we got them all in that jungle expedition. There's the new ones that we have. We have like a very minuscule amount of the cars that are in this freaking game. I have 29 cars, it's barely anything. We have some good ones. Scramble. Ooh, this is some real dirt racing. All right, we're gonna do. I mean, this car right here. Well, that of the Jurassic Park Jeep. I'm gonna do the Jurassic Park Jeep, even though that car is pretty good that we are using.
La Salva Scramble. I think this is just an off-road race. Yep, three laps. Well, it's not even off-road, it's like... Well, maybe some of it will be. After that epic last race we had, it's nice to do something a little bit shorter. Definitely not going to win back-to-back -back races, but... Here we go, here's some off-roading. On the first lap. Oh, this is the end of the first lap. Very nice. Ah, oh, still here. You gonna take a nap, maybe, Stevie? I know you said you were tired. So I gotta try and force myself to sleep earlier tonight. That's why I'm streaming, you know, much earlier today than I did yesterday, or, or than I have been lately, at least. I don't even know if I'll be able to sleep. Hoping to be asleep by like midnight, but I doubt. Knowing me, I'll probably still be up at like 2.30 in the morning trying to sleep. Having to get up in a few hours to go to work. Well, again, we couldn't possibly make it back-to-back -back races with wins in this game. Oh, shoot, I forgot where I was going there for a second. Nope, now I lost it. He went in it early today, so you need a nap. I think we all might need a nap, right? Yeah, I go on at 7 tomorrow. I don't even know what I'm going to be doing exactly, but all I know is I'm supposed to be helping Denise. Going to need to stop and get coffee, I think, in the morning. Coffee and a banana, probably. Yeah, these dirt races are probably going to be some of the most fun. Come on, let's finish this. This Jeep was meant for this race. That turn there is tough. 
We got it. You always say you're gonna stream, we're gonna pass out. <laughs> End up falling asleep. Sometimes that happens. I can help in truck, it's gonna be 8,000 units, yeah. Actually, they might have me do that, I don't know. If I can remember how to do it. Should we do an Omni? Yeah, I'm supposed to do a visual, but I don't know. They might have me just help with the truck then. Damn. I'm there most of the, you know, I have like a full shift or something, so we'll see what they have me do, whatever. Then I'll probably nap after work and then stream tomorrow night before I go back to work on Tuesday. Pretty sure I'm working Tuesday, but at like 12 or something. Uh-oh. Did the game, like, crash? It can't handle all this winning I'm doing. Oh no, it didn't. There it is. Thirty-five thousand CR. Well, credits. That was a big win. Big poll. Hey Matt, this is the Eliminator, an epic that puts The Eliminator. Yeah, no. Not right now. Haley. Uh, test driver. See, there's just so many freaking things that come up. Here's a house for sale. We can buy another house. <laughs> Let's go do that. We got all these credits. Hydration. I'm gonna have some Gatorade now. Coming in from Avon. There we go. Hydration. Let's go buy a house. And we're going to play Scarlet Nexus, a uh, beautiful looking RPG, action RPG, really got into that last night, guys. They're going to be pr going pretty hard on that game for a while now, got to knock more of this out. Okay, we're probably doing a lot of these like... Uh, Variety Series X streams just so we can work on a couple games each time. Get some going. Let's go see what this house is all about. Hey, what's up, Shane? How you doing, man? Thanks for coming in. Retro Game Arcades. Very cool streamers, too. I've been, uh... I've been, I have lurked in some of your streams and quite enjoy... You guys have a party going on over there every time. Shot, 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 what? Like a New Year's Eve? New Year's Eve, wasn't it? Oh, the New Year's shots? Oh, my gosh. <laughs> you want me to do more? No, we're doing Gatorade shots today. I don't have much alcohol left here. Fortunately. Shots? Oh, yeah. yeah. As part of our New Year's party we had on the channel, I was doing some shots. For every time I lost a match in this one game I was playing. <laughs> we did a fun time. So what are uh, what are some of the uh, what are some of your favorite games ever, Shane? Like what what are some of your favorites? I know you like I like playing everything from the classics to you know new gen stuff. So I'm all over the place. All right, we have we can 
This house comes with a chicken suit, so... I'm sold. I don't even gotta look at the house. Bueno Esperanza. The Buena Esperanza. You have purchased a house. This is gonna be our new home. This is our third home. I wanna look around. Our home, though. Hang on, let me take it. Let me just take out my fence that I just bought. We'll look at the view here. Hang on. So in order to get a better view, you know what we gotta do. We gotta get the drone out. Here we go. So this is the view. We have to see these temples. Man, imagine. Just imagine living here and getting this view every day. This nice little look at this little home. It's like a little mo like hotel almost. I think it is a little hotel kind of. Interesting house design. Then we have this nice setup over here. Enjoy some cocktails, soak up some sun. And not a person in sight here. You get the privacy. Well, maybe I spoke too soon. Let's go see what's up the road here. Are these the neighbors? Here's the neighbors. Already spying on the neighbors. Love everything from Sonic and Mario up through GTA 5 and Red Dead Redemption 2. That's cool, yeah. All the. So I'm saying, uh, that's nice to have that eclectic taste. I have the same thing going on with all my stuff. I enjoy playing stuff on, you know, the old systems as much as I enjoy playing stuff on the new ones, and that's what it's about. You gotta appreciate the old stuff and then soak up the new stuff in all its glory, too. Because I, I have, um,. Like, definitely Dreamcast is my favorite system. I love the Dreamcast. Um, but I also really like uh, N64, 360, the Switch is amazing. PlayStation 2 is awesome. Sober's better, Stevie, believe me. Yes, it is. It's a lot cheaper, too. Where this person coming? You want to live here? Yeah, I want to live here, too. Why don't we all, we can all rent a room here. It looks like a little hotel. We can just all go in on the mortgage here. <laughs> We each get our own little room, come out here, throw some killer parties. We can have a big game room in the garage right there for RGA. I can stream right in my room up there. Keep all my games up there. We'll go and imagine the hikes that you could do. Wow, what is this place over here? A bunch of temples and stuff. I'd be exploring those all day. <laughs> Grow mostly playing Sega Genesis, N64, and PC. Oh, very nice, yeah. See, Genesis is a system I'm kind of more getting into these days because I didn't grow up with one, but I had bought one later on. And I have like I only have like ten or eleven games for Sega Genesis, but man, I really really enjoy the system. And um, I played a few games when I was young, you know, at like friends' houses who had Genesis, but never owned one. It's nice having one now, so I'm trying to buy some games that I always wanted to to own. And N64 definitely grew up playing that. I love the N64. Dreamcast, yeah, I say Dreamcast is just so fantastic. I have like thirty something games for that, but. Always, always want more for that system. Uh, all right, what? I'm gonna do this. Maybe one more mission here before I change games. Uh, so we're done with that. We can do El Camino. Hmm. 
when you're drunk. Oh yeah, Stevie, believe me, I, I've done that when I'm <laughs> done that on stream. I think need a ground floor room for the arcade. Yeah, as I say, there you go. You get you get the garage down there. Hopefully that's enough room. You guys have all those big arcades, so set up your little electric drums. Said I'm cool. I don't need I don't need like a big space. You know I could just make my my room a, a nice game room. As long as it's bigger than my apartment bedroom right now, because mine's kind of doesn't have a lot of room for stuff. But um, we got room for a couple other people. Everybody in here, Stevie. My girlfriend will be probably in the room with me unless she wants like her own spot in there, because she'll want some some books in library. So there we go. We'll have we'll have a nice home here. <laughs> Let's live vicariously through Forza 5, Horizon 5. Sonic 2, I'm glad you mentioned that, because I, um, hang on. I just bought that game, Sonic 2, um, obviously, you know, in the case, it has like the manual and everything for $9. Um, I've never played this, so I'm going to do a classic Sonic Night once, play a lot of the first one, and then I'm going to attempt this one uh everybody says that this is like the best sonic game i've never played it but i do have it now so excited to own that game streets of rage 2 yeah i think i played one of the streets of rage i don't remember which one it was i want to get the new one for probably for xbox i'm not when i'm drunk acting like an idiot well when i get tipsy i can be pretty stupid <laughs> it's all in fun though I just, I, I end up, sometimes I play the games better when I'm drunk, but it's, it's weird. Alright, so we're gonna, I gotta find this other mission that we were gonna do. Trying to find these missions is like... See what I mean? I just like wanna... help oh, Camino. See, that's it right there. Not even, it doesn't even have like new on it or anything. It's just chilling right here. I really wish there was a way to to just mark the uh, the main missions. We are trying to find a house right now. We have our 17 arcade cabinets crammed into a two-bedroom apartment. How do you make that work? Holy crap! That's way impressive. Yeah, houses just like living costs these days is just so freaking expensive. No matter where you live, what you live in. You're paying like way more than you're making, pretty much. Unless you're rich, you're poor. That's how I see it. If you're not rich, you're poor these days. Because it's like freaking everything's so expensive. They're like, oh, we raise minimum wage in places, but then inflation makes everything else go up anyway. So why even bother? Living costs, man. That's why we play games to take our mind off all the stupid stuff that. We all go through, right? And have to deal with every day. Turn left. Yeah, dude, Steve, that's gonna be great when you guys have your own place and you can set it up the way you want it. Now, that's the dream, obviously. That's a long-term goal for me, is to have a bigger place, have a better setup, a nice area where people can come over Hang out, have some drinks, play a lot of games, be on the stream. You know, if people want to hang out and stream, you know, co-op games with me, it'd be great. Or even help me work on one-player games, I don't care. You know, watch, like, sporting events, watch shows, watch movies. Probably, like, cook some stuff there, order some pizzas, sounds good, right? Sounds like the life long-term goals it's good to have goals though but you got to start small and then build your way up you can't do it all at once obviously I've made I've made a lot of small-term goals for myself so far in the channel which is good you just have to you know you have to keep doing goals not just for what I'm doing here but just in life in general Taking a cruise over to this mission, and then we'll, after this one, we'll switch games, I think. Start working on another one that we've been doing. Oh, yeah, yeah, Stevie streams. Um, obviously, you already know GDP. G 
QDP the man. Um, he was actually in here a little bit ago. I met a lot of really cool streamers and cool people just from doing YouTube and Twitch. It's been fantastic. It's always nice to talk to people who are, you know, passionate about games too. As passionate as I am about the, you know, gaming and appreciating all the genres and all the the systems and what they have to offer. You're not gonna have three bedrooms. That'll be good. He is good people. Yeah, so are you, man. So are you. You guys are awesome over there. Every time I see you guys live, either I'm already live or I'm asleep or something. But I have been in a few of your streams. I found you out from, uh, from GDP, actually, so... But yeah, Twitch, uh, you know, there's a lot of toxicity out there with some stream videos, obviously. It's it's always going to be a thing, but all you can do is control what you're doing and do it the way you want to do it and enjoy doing it. And the right people will uh, gravitate towards you, I feel. I just enjoy doing it so much, you know, it's just hella fun. Yeah, you end up meeting a lot of cool people that you wouldn't normally, you know, you wouldn't meet, or, you know, people, I know people from other countries because of this. I'm like, gosh, I would never have met them, you know. And they're really cool. Yeah, opposite of what you normally find on the internet, exactly. Weird. The internet is a scary place. Man, the graphics in this freaking game. Oh. Nice. Actually, there's something down here, so it's kind of good we crashed. See? Boom. Always saying your stream, stay strong, it's positive, try to have a great day. You can always have a great day, as long as you make it a great day. That's right, Stevie. That's his, that's his uh, number one Tell saying. Right. His motto. Pro gamers, celebrities, all kinds of folks. Well, you, got, you got celebrity friends. There you go. That's the hookup right there. <laughs> But no, that's really cool. I'm glad you guys are spreading the word out about your about your stuff. It's good to network with people too. It's actually important if you want to strive to get anywhere with almost anything these days. Alex, where are you bringing me here? Continue the story. Oh, we already did one of these missions. Wait a minute. Alright, well, I guess we'll do this one. I don't know how we even did one of those already. Cartman. Yeah, it's cool you have arcades, Shane. That's really... I mean, I grew up um, with arcades in my basement. Um, when I was a kid, we had a Final Fight machine, like the original Final Fight game on arcade. We used to play the crap out of that one. We had four or five pinball machines, and we had another arcade machine, too, like this slide bowling thing. Um, so I played a lot of pinball, too, and we had a TV down there with uh, the N64 hooked up, so it was just a... A dream to have that with a big backyard too so we had a big backyard they would play sports back there and we played video games inside and it was just very fortunate to have grown up with an area where you know 
I had a lot, of, a lot of close friends right by that would come over. They would hang out, play games, and play sports. Pinball, man. Freaking love pinball. Billy Mitchell, a bunch of Galaga champs. Dang. To get to know Daniel Piscina, the martial artist who was Johnny Cage, as well as Scorpion, Sub Zero, Reptile, Smoke, and Noob, Salad, and Mortal Kombat 1 and 2. Dang. That's really cool. Arcade community is very welcoming. Yeah, I wish, like. I wish I st we still had, like, arcades. They just don't anymore, you know? I had to sell them all. I mean, I've, I've moved my, like, several times. Now I'm in a two bedroom apartment. But, you know, I've had to move. You know, there's times where I, like, actually had to move. So. But, man, I'll never forget having those machines and playing them. That was my favorite thing to do as a kid. It was go on the boardwalks on the Jersey Shore and play some arcades. Like all the Ninja Turtles beat em ups and the Simpsons beat em ups and pinball and all that. I used to just love going in the arcades, eating some saltwater taffy. So I can't really pinpoint when I first fell in love with gaming, but it was at a young age for sure. Music I know I fell in love with at an even younger age, but gaming was... I don't know, when you say I would fell in love with it, uh, maybe going to those arcades in the Jersey Shore when I was a kid, but... Yeah. Oh yeah, I just realized I'm supposed to be getting to this place at a decent amount of time as I'm crashing. That's a good thing about this game and like some of the missions, I can just like talk and cruise around. <laughs> it's kind of good to stream, but then like some of the missions are very tense. Take the picture. Is this it? Not quite sure what I'm looking for here. But now we are. You, uh, wait a minute here. Let me. Let, I gotta get caught up on the chat. You guys had a few things. We need to do a ton of arcading as kids, just occasionally. Genesis and computers and stuff instead. Yeah, as I said, I was lucky to have some arcades when I was a kid. But I also had, you know. Like my, I've got brothers who are older, so they had some of the older consoles too, and um, like well, family that had like older consoles. Like I'm talking like Atari or whatever. But uh, I mostly played like I remember playing a lot of you know NES, Super Nintendo, and N64 mainly when I was real little. And then as I grew up, I got into the Xbox and the Dreamcast, and then eventually PS2 and all, all sorts of stuff. Used to go to the mall sometimes, going to watch a movie as I wait. Starts so I play in the arcade for a bit. I loved it. Stevie, I did the same thing. Same exact thing. Back in the old town I lived in. Um, my friend and I, we would be going to a movie with my brother or something. And there's an arcade right next to us. So we'd chill out in the arcade for a little bit. You know, half hour, an hour. Wait until the movie's going to be starting. Go in there. Good memories. For sure. Wait, is this it? I'm going to take a picture of this freaking thing. Oh, that was that was right. Photo challenge. I guess I did good. We're adults with adult income and they have those home-sized arcade machines now, so we decided to get one, decided to get one. Yeah, the um what are they called? The arcade one-ups, right? And then it was lovely, so you had to get another one, and then another one, and some more. And now you have 17 of them. Oh, wow. I don't know how you guys make that all fit there. Yeah, those arcade one-up machines are pretty cool. I think 
I'd be interested in getting like maybe the turtles one or something, but I really I would have no place to put it here. Like that's like really makes sense because it's I just you know don't have enough storage room here or anything. All right, so I guess we beat that level. Oh, air hockey, Stevie. Yeah, yeah. Air hockey is always good. One of my favorites to play in the arcade. I was like a good game of skee ball, too. gift here. Let's see where that is here. Wait, did I get a gift here? Oh, maybe this is it. No. Hang on. We do have one right here. have to go to this next mission right now? I don't think we do. Horizon Adventure. Yeah, El Camino is the one we're working on. So that's a long mission. And there's Flood, Sweat, and Gears. And then the Gauntlet. Oh gosh. We don't have any more tickets. Yeah, we'd have to probably pretty much complete El Camino. I mean, Baja Rush and Street Scene, so... Yeah, we're not even halfway through this game. Yeah, that's good, Stevie. That's good that you're doing better with that. The arcade one up sets most of what we have. We also have the At Games Legends Ultimate Multicab. Oh, one of those! Yeah, where you can, like... Yeah, I've seen those at, like... I saw one of those at like a cafe or something. Somebody had one that you could play. Yeah, you load up a whole bunch of games on one. Yeah, that's sick. That is sick. Especially if it's all arcade games. Like, oh my gosh, yeah. Because like console games, I'll stick to console. But like arcade games are arcade games. Like you want to play certain arcade games in the arcade. Some systems have ported good arcade games. Like Dreamcast... Sega Genesis, actually, you know, with, like, Miss Pac-Man is amazing on there. So, yeah, but, like, you can't really, It's hard to replicate that, like, arcade experience unless you're playing on an actual arcade. I was gonna say, ski ball is an arcade game we always liked. That would be cool to maybe add someday. We have more room. Yeah, you should do ski ball, man. Ski ball is a classic. I mean, you gotta have at least one pinball machine, like, it doesn't even matter what it is. We had some of the old Williams collection ones. Yeah, I know, said Steve, you're doing really great, because you, you keep saying you, you're heading to the gym a lot more. So, man, keep at it, dude. Keep at it. You're doing great. I want to do a lot better and be more happy with my body and me emotionally. See, that's good that you're doing it for yourself, man. That's important. Alright, I guess we'll do... I'm going to do one more thing in this game, because we have so much to do that... It's like, I might as well knock out another... Another mission. I don't even know... It's all the way over here? From here, we will reach El Arco just as the sun sets, if you believe the story. It's a long... A long drive. Guess it won't take that long. Mario 64 in a modded cabinet. Yeah, I'm like, I wouldn't want to play that game on an arcade machine. It just, I mean, if people want to do that, sure, you know, go for it. I just, that's not how I'm going to play. You know, like I said, I have no problem with emulations or anything like that. I think it's a good thing that people can emulate and play games, you know, that they want to play, especially with the prices of games these days. 
But personally, I like to play everything I do on real hardware as close as I can. I also am a big fan of backwards compatibility too. Even though I will play the games on the systems that they're intended to be played on if I have said system. So, but you know, I, I yeah, I don't. I'm not somebody that's going to be into like super modded games or you know emulation or anything. I'm just not. That's just not how I like to play my games. But I really I understand why people enjoy that and why they use that. I just, I, I won't do it. Yeah, keep those separate. As I'm saying, like, the certain games are supposed to be on console, just to be weird in arcade. Good, Stevie. That's good, Stevie. Glad to hear that. Enjoy the game, that would feel wrong. I know, it's like, yeah, enjoy it, but, uh, yeah, I, I couldn't do it either. It's one thing if games are ported, like officially, but hey, people can do a lot of impressive things with their modding and everything. But like on PC, I feel like people mod games to hell so much that the like the root of the game is gone. Like the, the core of the game is just no longer there. It's a completely different game. And it's like yeah, maybe they're just you know they do it for fun, but at the same time it's like. That's somebody's art when you think about it. Like, that's the game that they made and somebody just, like, completely chopped it up and made it something that they want instead. It's like, oh, wow. Like, if somebody did that to my album, somebody, like, when I release my album, somebody takes my album and is just like, nah, nah, I don't like this. We're gonna, we're gonna change how every song sounds and I'm gonna redo the vocals, I'm gonna redo everything. And here we go, now, now I like it. <laughs> I mean, that would kind of like rub me the wrong way, I would think, but I don't know, maybe, maybe the developers like that their games are getting modded because they're just happy people are playing them. And I don't know, though, you know, I can't speak for them. Doesn't include the uh, Genesis version of Aladdin? That's the better version. Actually, that's one of the that's one of the uh, very few Genesis games I own is Aladdin, one of my favorites. I love that game. Exactly, Stevie. Yeah, like uh, it's exactly how the games are made. Like it's one thing if the developers add stuff into them themselves. Yeah, that's fine. But like, you know, I'm not trying to say that modding and emulation is bad, you know, it's just, that's not how I prefer to play my games, is what I'm trying to say. It just seems like, uh, you know, I don't know how developers would react to their games being modded, like, it's like their art being kind of changed in a way. But hey, if they enjoy it, they enjoy it, play the game, enjoy it. I'm the sucker who plays games on real hardware a lot of the time and has to spend more money on games because of that. So, <laughs> there's that. I'm just trying to give myself as good of an experience with the console games as I can. Saying this, the uh, people put so much CC and mods in The Sims. You can't enjoy The Sims. The Sims look more like IMVU character and not The Sims. Yeah, yeah. Feels weird to play a console game on an arcade cab. Yeah, I just yeah. It would be very weird. Like Alan Wake, my favorite game ever. If I, I don't like playing that in arcade would be kind of weird. Like uh, I don't know how that would work. Like if some, I'm sure somewhere somebody has Alan Wake on on an arcade machine, like a 360 mod or something. I'll be like, what the hell? Yeah, 
Exactly, Steve. I was saying, if somebody, somebody takes my music and just completely changes it, I'd be like, oh, well, they're okay. Well, then. As I can say, it wouldn't, you know, it'd be kind of like a disrespect to the the artist itself, you know? I don't know. But that's what PCs, you know, that's what they're for for gaming, you know, people mod their games and put things that they think would be cool in the game. So that's also, you know, in a way that's very, very neat. I think that's cool. Just not something I would, uh, I would be doing to any of the, my games, really. Unless it was intended for that way, you know? You know, if developers, or if like, you know, Sony and Microsoft, what if they opened up their systems and allowed people to mod the games? for the consoles, you know, like uh, the Skater XL game, for instance, on Xbox One, like, they allow a lot of the mods to be put into the console version. I have downloaded some of them. So that's one way you can get mods into games and have it feel more authentic. Is the fact that, you know, the actual developers and the companies are, like, allowing it to be opened up and modded with, you know, if you choose to download any of them. Hey, what's up, ghosts? Here, the sucker is gonna get that juice. I was like, "Well, <laughs> on the sucker is gonna be spending that money on those, those these uh, these games." Doing your stream, yeah. Let's say little mods here and there. Nothing. There's yeah. There's nothing wrong with that. There's just like what am I? Am I supposed to be taking another picture here? I don't know if I'm supposed to be taking another photo here. Maybe around here? I don't know. It's like in this pile. Can't even bring the camera up any higher. Let's say there's something like a little bit janky with these missions, I swear. Like marking them whether they're done or not, or like your progress. Like it already wanted me to go to step four. We we're just trying to get to step three here. I've arrived where it wants me to go, and yet I see nothing here. Hmm. Not sure. Yeah, now it wants me to look at the statue at noon. I didn't even do that. Look for the statue at sunset. Huh? Why did it skip over this one? Very odd. Right, let's get going. The sun that's what I just did. No, no, we're not doing that again. Do you think we'll find it? To be honest, I don't know. But I'm getting the sense that there's more to this. Did we, we, we just the drove end. this? Okay, never mind. Where is it starting me now? Oh, wait, no, this is definitely different because I'm in a different vehicle. Alright, let's do this one then. I don't know what the hell I'm driving. things pretty tough to control. It feels like top heavy or something. Did you know Sydney Wolverstone was also a uh I don't see the word. It's botanista? Botanista. A natural historian and a pretty decent artista. You wanna talk about Las Maravillas de Mexico? Just read about your life. We have three hydrations coming in. Wow, okay, guys. Okay, I'll drink. Oops. Two. And let me grab my water. 
three. There we go, there we go. Hydration, my friends, hydration. Right, on our last mission for the for the day for horizon. Look at this horizon. Whew. I must say, I wish the daytime and like, I mean, like you know, the day-night cycle lasted a little longer. What I mean by that is, you know, I wish the nighttime would last longer because it seems to be over in a flash when it's like dusk to dawn goes by so quickly and the day so long. I know that they want you to be driving during the day so you can see and certain missions are supposed to be t done during certain times of day but man there's some beautiful scenery here when you get these sunsets going down. We'll go over Sydney Wolverstone. How is how's the storm over there, Ghost? How's the snowstorm? Look, you can look at this view here. I mean, if you like, I know I'm being timed, but I really don't care. Look how many stars I get. Dude, this place is great. We have not been over here before. Incredible scene here. You've arrived at Treasure Trove Cove. White crops going away, that's good. Let's get a picture of this, this mug here. There we go. So if we come out of this now, hopefully it doesn't make us do all these over again if we like quit the game. Okay, still a little bit of snow. Yeah, we don't have, um, obviously I don't get snow over here right now, so. <laughs> No snow. Interesting. The design doesn't Chapter seem complete. entirely yeah. Aztec, but it does remind me of Tlaloc, the rain god. <laughs> this is amazing. I'll work out where the next one should be and give you a call. Hmm. Where does the trail lead from here? South and inland. I'm sure of it. I'll be in touch. Wait, why wouldn't you start the stream over there? Was it because you were getting like weird blurs in the in the stream? So I had problems in the beginning of my stream last night with um yeah with the internet and like lagging. Nope, not. Alright, right, so there we go. We have a new chapter unlocked when we want. Um, 
But we are going to come back. So let's look at this site here. Soak up the waves and the beautiful ocean views here. Oh my lord. No buffering? That's interesting. That's a that's like a slow internet problem, I think. Buffering. But man, that might be buffering just for the playback, but not for the actual video itself. I don't know though. There's XP over here I'm gonna try and get. Somewhere over here. There is this XP. Oh, there it is. Alright, another fantastic episode of uh, Forza Horizon 5 here, guys. Looks very pretty on the beach. Yeah, it's nice. Um, so I'm going to take a break, guys, for a few minutes. going to switch games as I go out to the ocean. Stop moving. one right into the ocean um, I'm gonna put in we're gonna play more Scarlet Nexus tonight because I am so into this game right now I just need to play more of it so you can stick around the stream if you want to um, this will be the end of the video on YouTube and hopefully you guys enjoyed part three thank you all for watching I appreciate it thanks for everybody hanging out in the stream so far I'll see you all in a few minutes if you want to stick around more Series X action coming. And uh, get yourselves a snack or something to drink. I'll be right back.